Hey Odoers, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about the importing and exporting of products and product category in Odoo 17 sales module. We know importing and exporting of the records is one of the essential part of every business and this is used by migrating from one system to another or while setting up a new company. And importing and exporting of the records is essential to check the history of the data or uh, to manage with the deep analysis of the data. So let's see how can we manage with the products and product category importing and exporting in Odoo 17. To manage with the products and product categories, let's move on to the sales module to manage with the product category. You can just move on to the configuration menu and choose the um, product categories. So here you can see all the categories that are currently available and product category that is the display name is a mandatory field. But here we also need to con consider certain fields such as the account properties and account stock properties that is the income account and expense account of the uh, category as well as the stock valuation account, stock journal account, then stock input account and stock output account. So in such cases um, we have to export certain fields um, to manage with all these uh, fields in the exporting and importing of the product categories. Let's move on to the product category and choose a category from here. As we have chosen one category, you can see an action button will be triggered here and you can just export the file. So this allows you to uh, just share the available fields um, and this shows the available fields and this section sh shows the fields to export and you can just export the files in XLS format as well as in CSP format and you can also uh, yeah choose the um, data to be compact I mean import export compactable and here I'm going to choose the product category that is um, created and here you can find all the things that is the display name stock input account uh, stock journal stock output account stock valuation account as well as the income account as well as expense account so here we are going to export all these fields for our product category um so let's export and you can find uh the yeah file so let's close this session and let's choose the file and import a new category into the odoo platform so for that let's back to the file Here you can see the exported uh, category which is all with the stock input account, stock journal, stock output account, stock valuation account and the expense account and income account. Now here we are going to just import um, a new category. So we will be using the category as food because we don't have uh, a category to manage the food items. So I'll be using the same input account, output account um, and stock journals, stock valuation accounts, stock, I mean uh, the expense account as well as uh, income account. And later on let's back to the Odoo platform to import this category. So before that we have to save the file. So let me save the file uh, in the Excel format because we have made a slight change over here. Now. In order to import the record, you can just uncheck this. As you just uncheck, you can see a button will be triggered over here, which is, um, yeah. And you can find the import records and uh, choose the file that you need to import. So here we are just going to import a file and we can just set the name over here. That is the field name. That is the standard field. And you can just click on test and you can see everything seems to be valid right now. And we are going to import uh, the category, which is food. And you can see a category food is imported over here. Now, let's import um, a new food item to the Odoo platform. So, import with the food item, we can just move on to the products. And here, you can see all the products which are available in Kanban view. So, as you need to import or export with um, a category, I mean, uh, with a product, you can just make the view into list and choose one of the uh, product from here and you can just choose the action button and same as that of the product category we will be repeating these steps so you can just click on export and this would allow you to manage with the uh, fields available and the fields to export and here i have already defined a new template for the 
product and i'll be using that and with the name of the product a uh, product type invoicing policy units of measure product category and uh, product template uh, tags as well as sales price um, cost and internal reference so if you are not choosing the product category over here then order will use all as a default category for the product now let's export the file and afterwards you can just close the session and let's view the excel file and um, we need to import a new product uh, to the order platform here you can see the uh, product that we have just exported and we are going to change the product which is chocolate and that's a storable product and the invoicing policy will be delivered quantity which will have a units of measurement as unit itself and here we need to change the category so you can just change the category over here and let me change that into food and let's choose uh, the product template tag which is sweet and here you can set the price over here so let me set the price of the product as 20 and here you can just set the cost of the product which is 10 and you can also provide an internal reference for this which is choco so let's give it as choco 101 and let's save the uh, changes that we have made in the excel and now we need to import the record into the odoo platform so let's uh, back to the odoo platform now in order to import the record you can just uncheck the record that you have selected and you can choose the gear icon and let's click on the import product uh, i mean import record and upload the file so here we need to import the product so you can choose the product template um, which is in the excel is uh, format and open the file and you can see the fields over here now let's click on test so this shows the uh, file that contains the blocking error and here you can see that no matching record found for the name suite in the field product template tag as we don't have a tag called suite here we can uh, cannot match with the record so here either we can i mean prevent the import or set the value as empty or skip the records or create a new value here i need to create a new value because we need to import the product template tag also so here we are going to import this um, new value and now let's test and you can see that everything seems to be valid now and let's import and you can see a new category uh, and i mean a new product with the category will be imported over here and you can see the uh, product is imported which is chocolate with the internal reference as well as the uh, product template tag and the sales price and cost is shown over here and you can also see that as we have set the product uh, type and uh, the invoicing policy that is also affected over here and you can see uh, all the details that we have given over here and uh, as we have set the product category as food the category is applied as food over um, for the product chocolate this process ensures the efficiency of data entry and also ensures the data accuracy so hope this concept is clear for you as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video